Hi, this is Scott from Apogee, and I wanted to show you some of the changes that we've made to our API consoles. I'll uh, navigate to the console from uh, our homepage by selecting this build link. That's one of a couple different ways you can get there. Uh, in this case, I am taken to a product page that describes all of our free developer tools, but the one that I want uh, to show you today is the console, so I will try the console. And this takes me to our, our first uh, new thing here, which is the providers page. And uh, this is a page that uh, lists all of the APIs currently supported uh, that, that each have consoles. Uh, here you'll see a lot of the pup, uh, popular public APIs that um, you uh, recognize and a uh, description and a link to their developer site. And the one I want to drill in here to is uh, Twitter. It takes me to uh, our second new change that we'd love your feedback on, which is the resources page. Uh, the resources page uh, lists all of the operations available in, in this case, in the Twitter API, um, along with a short description, uh, a link to the provider's own documentation for that particular operation. Uh, also tells you a couple, couple other things, such as what type of operation is it, and does it require authentication. Uh, again, the, uh, the, the intent here is to make it very fast and easy for you to understand the full surface area of an API. Uh, you can collapse uh, all of the uh, uh, different categories down and uh, just expand the ones that you're interested in exploring in more detail, uh, if that makes things easier. In this case, I'd like to, uh, let's, let's check out the, uh, some timeline operations here. And that takes me to our, uh, our third big change, which is uh, some substantial UI changes to the console itself. Um, the first here that I'd like to show you is uh, the awesome bar. The awesome bar uh, operates much like the Firefox awesome bar in that uh, you know, if you don't have any characters in it, it'll show you again the full list of operations that you can access. But uh, as you start typing, it narrows it down to the uh, operations that match your uh, match the characters you've uh, you've typed in there. Uh, again, I want to check out that home timeline operation, so I will uh, select that one, and I'll make sure that. Uh, I'm authenticated here with OAuth uh, because that one does require authentication. In this case, uh, the console will take me to uh, authenticate at Twitter and uh, then save those credentials so that I can you know, just really quickly uh, bang out the operations that uh, require operation uh, that require authentication. And I think I'm ready to go. I'm going to send that oper uh, send that request. And uh, here is my response. Uh, here in this new console, we have a, a two, new two-pane view, which will show you the request and the response uh, side by side, if, you, if that's how you'd like to uh, like to work. And uh, as always, we have the snapshot feature, which will uh, help you share your request response uh, with a colleague, if you'd like, uh, or to ask for help uh, at support. You just grab your short URL and you can send that on, and that will help someone else see the exact request response pair that you're uh, that you're working with. So again, these are some new changes. We've uh, we've limited these changes just for the Twitter console on Apogee.com for the time being. We'd love your feedback on uh, on how uh, the new stuff works for you, uh, or any improvements you'd like to see, and we will take that feedback and roll it into our next revision and uh, very quickly after that we will uh, you'll start to see these changes across all of our consoles thank you very much